Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning, welcome to our drone weekly news roundup. I have three stories for you this week and I'm gonna jump right in. Now, this is something we started reporting on back in May, but the DJI Avada has hit the FCC database. And while the FCC filing itself doesn't contain any images, more leaks have come out, including this image of the Avada, which is DJI's first indoor kind of Cinewoop style drone. I love this category. Cinewoop pilots are super skilled uh, and are getting hired more and more to do these smooth, high-speed FPV shots to showcase businesses, sports stadiums. Uh, perhaps you've seen some of these drone fly-throughs before where there's one long, continuous shot. It's quite impressive and a really fun subset of the drone industry that I've always been fascinated by. I have had a lot of fun uh, personally flying the DJI FPV drone and other smaller FPV racing drones over the years, but the Cinewoops kind of stand in their own category. They're just really fun uh, and challenging to fly. So there's no clear date on when the Avada will launch. It was anticipated to be this summer, but those weeks are running out, and I'll be curious to see if the Avada launches before the holiday season in a few months. I have a feeling it will. Let us know in the comments if you have any interest in getting into Cinewoop style videos anytime soon. Next up, and I remember writing an early blog post uh, on UAV Coach about this story many years ago, uh, the Ocean Alliance developed the Snotbot drone to fly through the blow of a whale so it can collect samples of whale snot for research. Uh, the Snotbot is a modified DJI drone with a collection device. Because the drone can fly over the whale without bothering it, it makes collecting samples uh, way less stressful for the whale. Today, Ocean Alliance is also using the Snotbot to tag whales for research. Tagging whales with a drone is way less invasive than chasing it down with a boat uh, to put a tag on it. As always, we enjoy hearing uh, and featuring stories of uh, how people are using hashtag drones for good. This is a really interesting application of how these systems can be used. Lastly, a new leaked image shows the DJI Inspire 3 in the air. This is very exciting news considering the Inspire 2 came out in November of 2016. Almost six years ago, to say it's time for a refresh is an understatement. Earlier this year, uh, DJI discontinued the Inspire 2, which made us wonder if a new generation would be coming. The high-end filmmaking drone is rumored to have foldable propellers, a first for the series, and will be compatible with the company's new flagship remote controller, the DJI RC+. The Inspire 3 is expected to launch sometime in September. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Thanks for watching, and as always, to all of you drone pilots out there, wishing you blue skies and safe flying.